Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today we're going to do a little brush tool troubleshooting. Because if I had to guess, I would assume that some of you have had trouble getting the brush tool to work the way I'm demonstrating. So let's take a look at some of these factors that might be giving you those bad results. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. First off, what if your brush does not have any fade at all? It's completely solid. The first question I'd ask is, are you using a mouse? If you're using a mouse instead of a tablet with pressure sensitivity, this is always going to be the result. So the first step is make sure you have a tablet. But I can assume that we all have tablets. So the next question would be found inside of Window Brush. These are the properties that control the brush. I'm going to make sure that Transfer is turned on. It's a little checkbox on the left side. And you can see that this turns on the pressure sensitivity. Great. OK, so transfer is thing number one. So you are drawing along, and then all of a sudden your brush has visible overlap. Hmm. That is not a look we're going for. This almost never looks good, unless you're trying to make something that has a repetitive look to it. But if you're just trying to get smooth blending, you don't want this. Well, this can be caused by a couple things. But the first thing to look for, once again, in the brush properties, is you go to the brush tip shape, which is at the top of the list. And then down here on the right side, there's a thing called spacing. Right now, spacing is set to 30%. That's way too high. You want to drop that spacing down to less than 10%, maybe 4 or 5%. And this, hopefully, will erase that segmented look make it much smoother. Now, depending on the type of brush you're using, this also might slow your computer down. This brush here is a simple circle, but if I were using a really complicated texture brush, this low of spacing might give my computer some trouble. So on the flip side, if you find that a brush is really slowing your computer down, well then you might want to go to the spacing control and increase the spacing, and find a nice balance that doesn't look too segmented, but that also keeps the brush moving quickly enough. Another reason your brush might be looking a little segmented is if your flow is set very, very low. Sometimes flow that is extremely low will give a bit of a segmented look. Once again, this is mainly tied to spacing, so it's oftentimes a combination of both low flow and slightly too large of spacing, and the end result is a bit of a segmented appearance. Sometimes when you're painting with color, it just does some really weird effects. This looks a bit like a blending mode, but if I check on the layer palette, this layer's blending mode is set to normal, so that's not the problem. The color is just one color, and the brush doesn't have any strange properties about it. There's actually a second blending mode built into the brush, and this one's one I almost never change. But you can see up here on the top of the screen, there is another blending mode pull down. Make sure that is set to normal. And then as you draw, it'll just behave the way you're expecting. And what this means is the blending mode can either be across the entire layer. So for instance, I make a new layer, set it to color dodge. Anything I draw on this layer is going to be affected by that new blending mode. Or you can have the individual strokes themselves have their own blending mode. So here I'm painting on a normal layer, painting with my color, but if I change this drop down up here to something like overlay, well then it's going to have a different effect. And if this changes accidentally, all of a sudden your brush can be behaving very strangely. So I'd say 95% of the time you're going to want to keep this set to normal and just forget about it. Now, it's possible that these few fixes will not solve your problems. A fair amount of the way my brush is behaving is just due to practice. A lot of it, honestly, is just feel. But if something's not working, make sure to check in the brush properties, transfer, within brush tip shape, check your spacing, up in the brush properties panel, check your flow, and then check the blending mode pull down. This one should probably be set to normal. To get all those things going, your brush is probably going to behave properly.
and all the rest is just practice. So if you guys have had any problems like this or are continuing to have issues, let's talk about it in the comments. This might be some common problem that somebody knows the answer to. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.